Okay, everyone. So today we are going to do. We are going to talk. So I am going to talk about the speaking test. Actually, um, so the speaking test for English is going to happen sometime in February. I think twenty one to twenty three February. So these slides will help you to understand how the speaking test is. I'll be speaking in both uh, Malay and English. Okay, so that we can have a better understanding what we are going to do. Uh, so let's quickly start. Okay, so the speaking test there are tiga tiga bahagian. Okay, there are tiga bahagian. Uh, part one ada phase one, phase two. Part two ada individual speaking dengan answering the other candidates' question briefly. And part three ada discussion decision dengan soalan hot. Okay, so we will look at all of this together. But sebelum tu kita akan tengok cara permakahan dia. Okay, so uh, during your exam, akan ada dua orang, interlocutor dengan assessor. Assessor is the one that uh, that will sitting that will sit by the side that dia akan bagi marka. Uh, so enam uh, uh, ada tiga bahagian. The first one is grammar. Dari segi grammar, berapa marka you akan dapat? And then vocabulary and then communicative competence. Okay. So grammar, all of you know what is grammar. Vocab uh, dia akan tengok uh, kalau you boleh guna specific vocabulary. Okay, untuk soalan tertentu, untuk soalan yang ditanya. And communicative competence, dia akan tengok uh, your gaya, your confidence, your how spontaneous you are and bagaimana you uh, mula and maintain the conversation. That is what communicative competence is. Okay, so ini cara permarkahan dia. Okay, you can pause this video and look at it later. And this is for interlocutor. An interlocutor hanya akan bagi enam marka. Okay, so, sorry ya. Assessor akan bagi lapan belas marka. So grammar paling tinggi enam, vocab enam, communicative enam. So lapan belas. And then interlocutor akan bagi enam marka. Okay, maximum. So that is how you get your 24 marks. Interlocutor dia akan tengok overall performance. Okay. So from part one, part two, part three, how do you do overall? The interlocutor will give you the marks. Okay. Okay, let's continue. This is the room layout. Ini cara duduk kamu. You can see the interlocutor sitting in front of you. Ada, dia akan maintain SOP, I think around 1 meter and then candidate A, candidate B and then the assessor duduk belakang sikit daripada the interlocutor. Okay, so this is the layout of the room. Alright, so this is the question. Okay, so all interlocutors akan dapat soalan macam ni. Okay, uh, and kita akan dapat skrip macam ni dan kita akan baca skrip yang sama. Okay. So just going to try this out. Okay. Good morning. I'm Sir Pravin and this is my colleague Sir Kairol. He will just listen to us. First of all, we would like to know something about you. What's your name? Uh, so I can tanya what is your name. And then when you jawab, say lah. Uh, my name is, uh, contoh, my name is uh, Kairol Aiman. But you can call me Aiman. Okay. And then I can start about thank you. And then I will ask candidate B. And then I can tanya soalan yang lagi dalam sikit. Like for example, uh, what is your hobby? What do you normally do during the weekend? Uh, do you spend your, uh, how do you spend your leisure time? Uh, waktu terluang? Uh, what do you do on weekends? Okay, all of this lah. Okay, this is part one. And then part two, this is part two punya script. Okay, again let's try. In this part of the test, I'm going to give each of you a topic and I would like you to talk about it on your own for about a minute. You also need to answer a question briefly about your partner's topic. Aiman, it's your turn first. Here is your task. Okay? And then you can what task itu. Okay? You can dapat, uh, so this is only the script. Uh, you can dapat a, a booklet ataupun a kertas macam ni. Talk about a family celebration you recently had. You should say what the event was, what you did there, if you enjoyed yourself, why or why not, why family celebrations are important in Malaysia. So you can job solid me. Okay. Now, if you want to score a very high mark, uh, you can to be check up a little bit more. Lebih daripada soalan apa yang soalan itu tanya. Okay. So, for example, talk about the family celebration. You can say, you can start off by saying family celebrations are. Uh, important to strengthen the bond of each family members. An event that I recently celebrated with my family is um, family day. Uh, we had a picnic at Bukit Besar. Uh, we had a picnic at Batu Buru Beach. 
uh, and we did various activities such as barbecue. Uh, we even had uh, uh, what we even had uh, some some uh, beach games such as uh, beach volleyball, and also building sand castles with the children. Uh, I truly enjoyed myself. Uh, so you can also buat lebih banyak daripada apa yang dia minta. Okay. That I'm just giving a very brief example. Uh, okay. So that is 2A and this is 2B. Sama. And then candidate 2A. Lepas sudah habis, candidate B akan jawab sedikit pasal soalan ini. Okay. And then candidate 2B pula akan dapat soalan. And the same thing, candidate A akan jawab uh, just around 20 seconds about the same question. Okay. Tak perlu panjang. Alright, and then this is part three. Okay, part three. Uh, let's look at part three. Part three, okay. So part three is, uh, now I would like you to talk about something together for about three minutes. The task will have two parts. In the first part, you will discuss something with each other for about two minutes. Then in the second part, we will have another minute to make a decision together. Alright, let's begin the discussion task. Online shopping is gaining popularity in our country. Then saya akan bagi kamu peta minda itu. Okay. You will get this peta minda. Here are some reasons why people shop online and a question for you to discuss. First, you have some time to look at the task. So, 20 saat akan diberi untuk kamu fikir. Dalam 20 saat ni, you boleh bincang, you nak ambil point mana. Okay. You, nak, you boleh bincang apa maksud. Okay. Uh, you can ask your friends. Okay. You can also talk in a little bit of Malay. No problem. Okay. Now, Okay, so lepas tu saya akan tanya, now talk to each other about the reasons why people shop online. So bahagian ni you akan cakap untuk 2 minit sahaja. Okay, so you need to, when you talk, you tak boleh buat sendiri, you have to talk with your friend. You need to pass the conversation. Maksudnya, maybe you take, uh, okay, for example lah, ini, ini contoh yang nak jawab. Okay, there are many reasons why people shop online. Um, firstly, the reason why people shop online is is because there are no crowds. When we shop online, we do not go and meet people. We do not need to go outside of our home. We can make the purchase from the comfort of our home. From the comfort of our home. Besides that, with the current state of pandemic, which is, uh, which is getting more dangerous, it is impo it is much better if we can avoid crowded places. So this is one of the reasons why people shop online. What do you think, Aiman? So then you can tanya and then it will pass the conversation kepada the next candidate. Candidate B pula akan ambil, yes, I agree with you, Aiman. Uh, sorry, yes, I agree with you, Sir Pravin. Uh, indeed, nowadays, uh, people shop online because there are, because there are no crowds. Uh, but I would also like to another, I would also like to add another point. Another reason why people shop online is because it is time saving. As you know, if you go to a physical store, you need to walk around and this will sometimes waste your time. But if you shop online, you can just browse online and find for your items. So this not only saves time, but also saves some kind of uh, transport fees. Therefore, I think this is the main reason why people shop online because it is time saving. Uh, what do you think about this, Sir Pravin? And then saya akan ambil point Aiman tu. Okay? And then I can goreng balik. Okay? So you need to pass the conversation. And bila your friend pass you the conversation, you can check up. Yes, I agree with you. Ataupun disagree, tapi selalu you can agree lah. Okay? Yes, I agree with you. Time saving is one of the reasons why people shop online. Uh, besides that, there's also another reason which is following the trend. And then blah, blah, blah. Okay? So that is how you do. You need to pass the conversation. And bila you terima conversation tu, you can check up sedikit. Like, ulas balik dia, but anda betul. Okay? So this is what you need to do. Eh? Okay. Let's continue. Oops. Okay, let's continue. Hope we can see my screen. Huh? Okay. Okay, so part one. Kita dah balik ke sini. Okay, ini saya akan bagi tips untuk setiap bahagian ni. So, this is a long video. I think around 15 to 20 minutes jugalah. Okay, sekarang dah 9 minit dah. Okay. Um, Alright. So, for tips, uh, for part one. Soalan interview itu. Listen to the questions carefully and give re relevant answer. Kalau dia tanya kamu, why do you go to school? You can sebut why, bukan where I go to school. SMK pada media ni is wrong. They're telling you why you go to school, okay? And then avoid giving one word answer, okay? Give, for example, yes or no only. Try to give reasons and examples to extend the answer. So, dekat sini part one, you can cuba cakap banyak sikit, okay? And then also, try not to give a long answer as it is not needed in this part. Jangan panjang sangat, 
Okay, kalau dia tanya what's your name, you can just say my name is uh, Nur Fatima binti Rosli. You can call me Fatima. Okay, you don't have to say uh, my name is uh, my name is Nur Fatima binti Rosli. You can call me Fatima. My friends call me Tima. My cousins call me uh, cousin Tima. My mother call me Ma. I don't have to say too many things lah. Okay, straight to the point. But avoid giving one word answer. Okay, let's continue. Uh, answer the questions in full sentences, macam saya cakap tadi. Speak only about the topic of the question. Use simple and direct language to make yourself comfortable with speaking with the speaking test. And then ini yang paling penting ni. Look at the interlocutor when speaking and avoid looking down or somewhere else. So when you speak, you cannot look at the interlocutor. Pastikan you, you, think, you tengok dia lah. Okay? Alright. So again, this was study apa yang kita buat tadi. So I'm going to skip this part. Okay, contoh, these are some of the ways you can answer for phase one ini. My name is, you can call me. Hi, I am, you can call me. Contoh, dia tanya kamu tinggal kat mana? I come from kampung Panamidin. I come to school by bus. I walk to school because I live in the hostel. Uh, my father sends me to school every morning. Uh, something like this, huh? Okay. And this is phase two tadi, masih part one ni. Contoh, dia tanya kamu, what is your hobby? Or how do you... How much time do you spend daily on your hobby? So, I normally spend around one hour a day on my hobby and my hobby is uh, reading books. Something like this, okay? So, these are again some perkataan yang you boleh guna. This is a game which you can play with your friends. You can just look around. Uh, okay, look at the words, okay? And you look at the questions and you can answer it later lah, okay? Part two, individual long term. Ah, so again, ini saya nak bagi tips. Individual long term ni yang ini bahagian ni ya. So let's show you again. Ah, bahagian ini. Ah, ini. Bahagian ini ya. Right, this part. Okay. So how do you answer this? Uh, let's look at the... Okay, so the tips. Now, use 20 seconds to brainstorm what you may talk about. So dia akan bagi kamu 20 saat untuk fikir. Bahagian ni, you kena... Part ni, you kena fikir apa vocabulary yang you nak guna. Okay. Cuba, so bila dapat soalan family celebration, apa perkataan you, uh, terus datang dalam otak you? Beach, um, apa lagi? Uh, beach, maybe you can think about the uh, picnic, uh, volleyball, sand, uh, wind, trees. Okay, all of this the vocab yang you nak ambil, okay? Bila you dah ada vocab, it's easier for you to plan your writing. Ah, uh, Sorry, plan your speaking. Again, avoid giving short answers. Okay, you can use the prompts to give to uh, the prompts prompts tu yang diberi tu lah, ah tiga pas soalan tu to create a long, longer response. And then describe your activity, feelings and opinions clearly. Okay, so if you fikir, oh, I tak ada point nak cakap. Apa yang nak cakap ni ya? Eh? Okay, guna guna cara ni. Activity, feelings, opinions. Okay, contoh, family celebration kan? Okay. Uh, okay, so... Uh, my latest, my recent family celebration is we went to the beach for a family day. We did many activities. The first activity we did was uh, having a picnic on the beach. Okay, so activity activity day, having a picnic. Okay, apa feelings kamu? Okay, I, I, uh, I felt really relaxed because I was really stressed from the SPM examinations. So by going to the beach, I felt, uh, so by spending time on the beach, I feel a little bit relaxed. Opinion, apa pendapat kamu? I think this is a good way for students to 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 spend time with their family at the same time to de-stress. Uh. And then, the second activity we did was, okay, so guna cara tips ini. Activity, feelings, pendapat. Activity, feelings, pendapat. Okay? Okay, let's continue. Use linking words and phrases to arrange your points to sound more natural. Ah, uh, Ini sangat penting, linking words ni. Penanda wacana. Nanti saya akan tunjuk. Okay, ada banyak contoh dalam video ni. Uh, if you forget, if you forget what to say or make a gra grammar mistake, do not worry. Uh, correct the mistake and keep talking. So remember, guys, this is speaking. If you buat kesilapan, don't worry. Just continue speaking normally. Okay, and then do not speak too quickly. Speak at a natural pace. Okay, and pronounce the words clearly. Make eye contact with the interlocutor when speaking. So when you're talking, make sure you look at the interlocutor. Okay. Alright, now sekarang, if you have finished speaking and the interlocutor masih, beri, uh, masih duduk kat situ selain pandang kamu, 
Okay, maksud ni you masih ada masa. Okay, bahagian dua itu, uh, bahagian ni lah, bahagian ni, you ada seminit untuk cakap. Dan seminit ni agak panjang sebenarnya. Okay. So, make sure you talk until the interlocutor tells you, okay, thank you, thank you very much, can do A. Now we'll move on lah, macam tu. So, you just keep talking. If you have no idea, go back to the tips which I gave you earlier. Guna activity, feelings, opinion. Activity, feelings, opinion. Okay. Any soalan you boleh guna macam ni. What is your favorite book? Okay, my favorite book is, you say the book. Okay, my favorite book is, uh, actually I don't really have a favorite book. Okay, but let's just say, what's your favorite book lah? Okay, let's say favorite book. Okay, my favorite book is 12 uh, Rules for Life by Jordan Peterson. In this book, he provides us 12 ways that we can have a better life. Okay, so that is like the activity. So, apa feelings you? Okay. Uh, as you know, I am struggling to uh, I'm struggling to live uh, I'm struggling to have an organized life. So in this book, I get to learn ways on how to organize my life better and how to manage my time better. Uh, so in my opinion, I think in today's world with social media, uh, by reading such books, it will help us to better organize our life and not be trapped in the social media world. Uh, also, another uh, another reason why I like this book, same thing. You guna tactic to activity, feelings and opinions. Okay? Alright, apa you rasa and apa pendapat kamu. Okay? Uh, do not prepare, or, okay, next point, uh, next tip. Do not prepare and memorize a speech before the test as it may not be related to the prompts given. So, saya ada tengok beberapa pelajar, dia suka hafal. Don't waste your time. Jangan hafal, guna tactic yang saya ajar ni. Okay, activity, feelings, opinions and then apa you kena buat? Fikir some nice vocabulary. Itu sangat penting. Alright, you have like around 20 vocabulary in your in, 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 in your bank. Okay, have like around 20 vocab in your brain. So when you go, you, oh, you can terus turunkan 20 vocab ni. Okay, for example, explore, discover, uh, so many, strengthen, okay, menguatkan. These are words which you can use. Okay, untuk my favorite book, you boleh guna juga. To strengthen my life. I can, this book en enables me to strengthen my life. Uh, untuk beach, uh, untuk family family trip. Uh, going to the beach strengthen our bond, ikatan. Okay. Uh, okay, last tip. If you can think of an idea or, or own experience to talk about, make up a story or experience. Okay, cuba imagine so that you have something to talk about. Okay, extra tips. How to start your part two? Okay, again, this one later you can pause the video. You can look at it. Uh, let me tell you. My favorite one is number four. Let me tell you about the topic today. I'm going to talk about uh, my favorite, uh, my favorite book. Okay, in my opinion, my favorite book is okay. Macam tu. Alright. Uh, my favorite. Okay. In my opinion, okay, the one that stands out for me. Ni pun boleh kap. Alright, some examples uh, on how to use them in your speaking exam. Okay, I do many things to, that contribute to a healthy lifestyle, but the one I like to tell you about is weight lifting. Contribute is another nice word uh, that you can use. Okay, alright, let's continue. Describe. Okay, so again, uh, you can pause this video, you can look at it later. Okay, this part also, again, you can pause, you can watch it later, uh, no problem. Okay, this is this is contoh jawapan dia. This is for part two. Okay, and then ada contoh jawapan kat sini. Again, what what you need to do if you want to see this, okay, you just pause the video, and uh, you can go through it. But you know what? I think I'm gonna read this. Okay, I'm gonna read this. Okay, so candidate A, place you want to go on a holiday. Okay, this is a holiday, yeah. Okay. I would love to go to Sipadan Island for a holiday. I fell in love with the island when I first saw a travel documentary on TV about it. The sea water surrounding the island is so blue and the beaches were there are magnificent. Ah, magnificent. Nice word, Abel. However, not many people can go there since it can be quite expensive and they don't really have a lot of facilities as well. Facilities, kemudahan. Very good word, Abel. So, it would be a great getaway for me to relax and unwind. Unwind. Another nice word. Take it. Since Sipadan Island has one of the most beautiful scuba diving spots in the world, I would like to go scuba diving, scuba diving and snorkeling there. I want to see the amazing marine life here, like the sea turtles and sharks. I'm sure that it will be an unforgettable experience. Unforgettable, nice word. 
So ada unwind, unforgettable. Ada two words dah kat situ dah ambil, okay. The transport that I prefer for traveling is an aeroplane and bus. With an aeroplane, I can get to my destination faster even if it's a bit pricey. Then I would take the bus to get around the area so that I can visit the tourist attractions. Okay. So that is for, uh, then adalah ni gadget B, mobile phone. Ni soalan dia. A, a thing that you cannot live without. Okay. So this is the answer. Mobile phone is the answer. Huh? Okay, again, this one I'm going to read. You can pause and read on your own. Okay, we're going to part 3. Discussion and decision. Ini prosedur dia. Bagaimana dia mula untuk part 3 ini. Okay. So interlocutor, which is your teacher, presents the task and highlight the focus of the task. Candidates are given 20 seconds to read the input material, the mind map. So you can pass to mind map ada enam isi. Now, when you do this task, okay, let's sambung ni dulu. Eh. Candidates speak together for about two minutes in a discussion. Candidates are given one minute to make a decision connected to the theme of the task. Interlocutor takes back the booklet. Interlocutor ask a further question based on the same theme. Ah, ini soalan kebat tu. Soalan kebat yang sini ni. Ini soalan kebat ni. Candidates, oh sorry. Candidates are given a further two minutes to answer the question. Now, ini bukan two minutes lah. Ini dalam a minute enough already. Okay. Uh, okay. So, you have 20 seconds to think. And you hanya akan cakap to dua minit, both of you in a discussion. So, in a discussion, maximum you boleh cakap one minute, your partner another minute. Okay. So, you cannot talk a lot pun. So, do not panic so much when they say, oh, uh, Susah sebahagian ni memang susah tapi remember you only talking for two minutes So one minute for you, one minute for your partner. That's not long time. Okay Lepas you cakap tu, you akan buat satu keputusan Which is the best decision. Okay, kita akan tengok soalan lah. Okay uh, Okay tips, don't introduce the task for the exam. Today we have to talk about okay repeating is just a waste of time So kadang-kadang you nak straight go to the point. Okay Use useful phrases and conversation fillers in your discussion. Arrange your points with cohesive devices, penanda wacana and linkers. And then when your partner is talking, make sure you listen to them. Okay. And then give your partner an equal chance to speak. If your partner is shy, ask them a question so they can give a response. So make sure when you're talking, don't only use haji cakap. Pastikan you give your partner the choice, the, the opportunity to talk to. Okay, then you can agree or disagree in a respectful way. If your partner strays from the topic, bring them back to the task. Contoh, the topic is about shopping online but your partner is talking about social media. Go back to the task. Okay, you can say that is interesting but we should talk about the benefits of online shopping. Oh, sorry. We can talk about why people, on, uh, why people shop online, not the benefits of shopping online. That is great. Let's go back to the point here. Ini contoh, you boleh bawa balik topik tu eh. If both candidates cannot make a decision, explain why. Do not worry as your mark is not affected by the disagreement. Okay, so bahagian buat keputusan tu tak semestinya you setuju. You can also like uh, say you want to kekal with your point, you want to stick, stay with your point and your partner also wants to stay with his point. Okay, and learn useful phrases for discussion. So again, when you take the conversation, you say, yeah, I think you have a solid point there. Moving on, I would like to add another point, something like this. Okay. Uh, now, this is the suggested way lah. So, candidate A start the discussion, give opinion of point one, ask partner's opinion. Then, candidate B, bila you ambil, you akan agree atau disagree dengan candidate tu, baru you bagi pendapat kamu and then you tanya balik, what do you think? And then, candidate A, the same thing, akan ambil, uh, akan agree atau disagree dulu dengan candidate B punya point. Lepas tu, dia akan bagi point ketiga, dia uh, point ketiga, which is the point kedua dia. And then ask the partner's opinion. And then balik kepada candidate B. Okay. And then you conclude the discussion. Now, when you do this for two minutes, kebarang kalian, masa akan habis. Okay. So do not worry. If your time finishes, just continue. Just, it's fine. Marka you tidak akan dipotong. It means your discussion is quite good. Okay. Alright. So again, uh, this is some, uh, some, uh, ni, to do well in part three, students must know a few examples so again, you can look at this phrases again, you can pause this video and then you can look at these words, okay? Contoh you macam surah bosan, what do you think, what do you think, or do you agree? You boleh cakap, do you share my point of view? Okay? Ni cara agree, I, I share your point of view, I am convinced that you are right. You are right up to the point, or you could be right, okay? Okay, ni cara yang disagree. Okay, how to start this discussion? 
Okay, again, pause this video, look at how to start. So let me explain to you the ways people shop online. The first way is, or let me explain to you why people shop online. Okay. Okay, how to interrupt. Contoh yang nak mencelah, you boleh guna ni. Again, these are some ways, some notes for you. I will send you the slides too later. Okay, conversation fillers. Contoh, you dah sekarang blur dah. Tak tahu apa nak cakap. Okay, so you boleh stop kejap. You boleh cakap, hang on a moment. Or you can say, actually. Okay, or you can say, to be honest. Ambil satu dua saat, lepas tu sambung balik. Okay. Alright. Okay, again, this is all nota for you. Again, the slides I will send it to you. Connectors. Okay, this is soalan. And then ada jawapan kat sini. Okay, you can read this later. Again, lebih banyak penanda. So, ada banyak penanda wacana ni ya, dalam sini. You don't have to remember everything lah, guys. Just take one or two. For example, untuk addition ni, you nak ambil furthermore. Kekal kepada furthermore. Opposition ni, kalau you nak bagi point yang bertentangan, guna in contrast. Kalau you nak te even, uh, tekankan balik isi kamu, guna after all. Untuk you memberi contoh atau explain, you boleh guna for instance, to clarify. In other words, ingat satu atau dua untuk setiap satu. Okay? Okay, itu saja. Alright, so this is a, been a very long video. Uh, let me get back on the screen. Alright, okay. Okay, so now, uh, so that is the end of the this video. Now, I will send you the slides. But at the same time, what I want you to do, I hope you can watch this video. Uh, and if you have any questions, you can ask me or any of your English teachers. And... Uh, I really wish the best for you for your speaking test and I also provide you the slides. Go through it. Remember, you do not have to hafal every single thing for each uh, penyanda wacana have like around two or three in your brains. So when you go, you can easily uh, talk about it. Okay? So that is the end of this video. I wish you guys the best and again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask any of your English teachers. Okay? Thank you very much and good luck.